Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for June 16th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving the Lobster Telephone by Bill Murphy. This is a even and odd Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some squares in the grid. Digits in those cells must be even. And where we have circles, the digit in that cell must be odd. And those are the rules. And we are going to start um let's actually start with some of the even digits because we can just fill them in this even cell sees two four and six so this must be an eight this one sees two four and eight so it must be a six this one sees four six and eight so this is a two and this one sees two six and eight so it's four all right next we're going to look at this um this is I mean, it's a tiny bit advanced, I guess, um, but hopefully not too bad. Um, both this row and this column contain one, two, three, four, five already. So we know that the cells in the remaining, uh, in the remainder of the row in the column are high. They're from six, seven, eight, and nine. Both of these are odd, though. So these are from seven and nine, and that gives us a seven, nine pair. So what is this? It's not seven, nine, because we have a pair, and we have one, two, three, four, five, and we have an eight here, so this must be six. And then we have a six here, so this must be eight. And now what even digit can we put here? It's not eight or two or four, so it's six, and this one must be eight. And now this cell is seven or nine. We have a nine here, so this is seven, nine, seven, nine. That resolves row three and column three. And we're going to do something similar for row 7 and column 7. This time we have all the high digits, 5 through 9. So these cells are from 1, 2, 3, 4. And in particular, these two cells are odd, so they must be a 1, 3 pair. This can't be 2 or 1, 3, so it's 4. This can't be 1 or 3, so it's 2. And then this even digit can't be 4, 6, 8, so it's 2. And here we have two, six, and eight, so this is four. And here we need one and three, but we have a one. So three, one, three, and one. Nice symmetric uh, start to this puzzle, if you can find it. Um, where else do we want to look? Uh, we could pencil mark some things, but I'm going to avoid that as much as I can. I have a nine looking into this box, so this is the only place for nine. These are five, six, and seven. Here we have a one looking in, so this is one. And these are two, three, and five. And this time we have a two in the middle, so our symmetry is broken a little bit by that. Makes that a five, three, two. Uh, the five because of this three as well. So up here, now we have five and seven, so this is six, and this is a five, seven pair. These are four and eight, and they are resolved. Not sure we can do anything else here yet. Just have a lot of odd digits. All right, let's look across here. We need four, six, seven, and nine. Four and nine are here. So this is six, seven, and we know the order from that six. This is four, nine, and we know the order from this nine. These are three and six, and we have six there. And these are four and eight. No, not four and eight. Five and eight. We don't know the order of those yet. Now we need 2, 5, and 7 here. Um, the 7 means this must be 7, and this is a 2, 5 pair. And what's left in the box is 3 and 4, and we know the order of those. These are 1, 5, and 8. It's the only place for 8, because of these two 8s. And in fact, we can do the same with 4 over here. It's the only place for 4. Four. Now these are five and six, and we have a six there. That five is going to resolve our five seven up here. Now what are we left with? One and seven here we can resolve from that seven. Three and nine we cannot resolve. This is one and five. That one's going to resolve that. So we have three nine here. Ah, the three here must go in this cell. And then this is 9, this is 5, 
this is 3, this is 9. Uh, the 5 here gives us our 8, 5. Uh, 2, 5 is resolved by this 5. Could have gotten that just knowing there was 5, 7 here, but since I'm not pencil marking, I forgot all about it. Um, these are 2 and 7, so 2, 7 here. And to finish off, we have 1 and 8, and that is the solution. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. I really like the symmetrical opening here, uh, and Bill has avoided the uh, complete symmetry, which we've been trying to do that more often. So I don't know. Let us know how you feel about <laughs> how you feel about the complete symmetry versus the almost symmetry versus no symmetry at all. Um, but I will see you next time, assuming my AC is working. Um, we've been having some problems again, and I'm in Texas, so. Um, it gets pretty hot up in my office, so assuming it's working um, or I can record early enough, um, I will be back in three days, and I will see you then.